Hello, this is Galen Martling, representing Unity Stamp Company. Today, I have a watercolor card. It's an outdoor scene with a sailboat. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful large stamp, all in one. Uh, plus, the sentiment was added onto watercolor paper. And uh, the stamp is by Unity. It's called Sail With No Limits. And it's beautiful art by Jeannie Marie Hayes. And uh, this was stamped on Ranger watercolor paper. I have watercolor brushes. I am using watercolor using Prima water soluble oil pastels. And so these go on like crayons and I use an alt new palette mat to just, uh, just color on some swatches uh, to make a palette onto this plastic mat there and the colors that I want to use for, for this scene. So first I use a brush, a wet brush just with water and I'm going to try to get the blues watercolored first. So I, I place water down in a section and I go in and wet some of that oil pastel with a brush and bring that color over to where the water is on the watercolor paper. And you see it just blends out easily. Uh, it goes from a crayon texture to really a water, a soft watercolor look. And I am choosing a light blue here. I'll go in later and add a darker blue. And I just go in with the water and uh, build on the color. And I'm using a very fine watercolor brush for this. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and make some wispy, wispy lines in the sky with that same blue. But I'm, instead of coloring it all in, I'm just going to make it look sort of like there's clouds in the sky by just wisping some blue lines with the brush. And I'll go back and add another layer um, in a little while. Now I wanted it to be either a sunset or a sunrise. So I'm adding some yellow on the top of those hills in the background and then I just blend it in with that blue a little bit um, just to make it blend in a little bit more. If you want it darker you can go in and add more color. If it's too dark you can take it away with a damp brush and as long as the watercolor is still wet. And so I decided for this uh, Yellow, I'm going to go ahead and add this sail in yellow as well. Just to kind of bring out that background color. You know, any colors will do. Any watercolors will do, really. I just wanted to use the oil pastels for today and show you how easy they are to color with. Now I'm heat setting this layer because I want to add some more color. And I didn't want the, uh, the colors to blend together. So now I'm going to make this boat red and I intended to make it red in the beginning, but the watercolor stayed lighter than I wanted it to. So I'm going to add a darker red later. When it dries, it dries more pinky, I thought, for this particular red. But I, I didn't go as concentrated with it either. So it's, you know, you can add more water to get a lighter look. But I'm going to add, actually, I'm going to add Copics later to that boat. I'm going to make it darker red. See, I, I build on the blues, and I have a second darker shade of blue there on the palette. And I'm going to add that to the sky and to the water. And I'm building the background with a little bit of green. And then I go in and just um, do a couple layers of that. I wanted it a little darker, so I added some more. And then I heat set that again, and I flip it over. If it warps, if your watercolor paper warps, just turn it over and heat set it on the back as well. So now I'm adding some splatters onto a background, a background panel. I'm just adding splatters to go behind the sailboat pattern. I'm using a light blue cardstock base for the card base, then I'm going to add that splatter layer and then I'm going to add the watercolor layer. The watercolor layer was added with foam tape because I wanted it to pop up. Here are some Copic markers. I just used two uh, markers in reds just to make that boat pop some more. It's this 
is an option to do if your watercolor is not dark enough for you. So I wanted it to be a little darker. I really like how it turns out. So peaceful. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and have a great day.